polygons on the coordinate plane. It is really important today to take the time to analyze our coordinate pairs and their relationships with each other and how they show up on the graph and how we can interpret them for perimeter and area. So perimeter, you can use the coordinates of a figure by finding the distance between two points. So I drew a coordinate graph and then plotted a rectangle on the coordinate plane. If I take a look at my vertices, there are four, and label them. This is one, three. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, up three. Assuming that each of these intervals are one, you should always label that. Six up three, four, five, six. So this is six, six. And this is over one, up six. Do you notice how from this point to this point, the x value stays the same, but the y value changes? And the y value changes by six minus three, or three units. And notice how there's one, two, three boxes on this side. Notice over here, um, the x value again is the same because all I've done is go up or down vertically and that is 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 and there's three units right there. I'm taking the y values and subtracting them. Well in this case the x values go from 1 to 6 so if I take the difference of them 1, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 which is the distance from each point and the y values did not change because I went horizontally. Same applies to this line. 1 to 6, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. 6 and 6 are the same for the y value because it's a horizontal line. So I know the perimeter formula for a, tr a rectangle is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So if I plug in my values, I have 2 times the length. I have 5. They're both 5. That's why there's two of them and then two times the width, two times the width, which is three, and there's two of those sides. And so if I simplify all this, I get 10 plus six, and I get 16 units. It's one dimensional because I'm just doing the edge, and so that is all you need. For area, you can find the area using those distances on each side of your polygon. So you can use the distances found for the sides of your polygon and apply them to the applicable formula. So in this case, this rectangle is area equals length times width. And now that I found the length, which is 5, and I know the width of 3, I can determine the area, which is 15 units squared. So this will lead into our next lesson about composite figures and you'll break it down into shapes you know and find the areas of each shape and add them together.